This was the scene last Thursday when Lord Mayor Arias Luquago visited downtown Kampala ostensibly to inspect city roads. But it was not long before the visit that had FDC leader Dr. Kizu Besije and Kampala woman member of parliament Nabila Sempala accompanying Luquago turned chaotic and was interrupted by police. Amidst the scuffle, a police officer lost his life and now, following an application by the state, court summons were issued against Dr. Kizu Besije, Lord Mayor Arias Luquago, Kampala woman MP Nabila Sempala, FDC Women's League leader Ingrid Turinawe and 10 other people. They all have obeyed the summons. Well, we respect court summons. I will go to court tomorrow at 9 in the morning. Um, the charges we, that are on the summons are the most ridiculous charges. And they are going to appear there on foot. And it's absolutely their right. There is no law whatsoever preventing the leaders from going to court through any means they choose. This will see the A4C leaders work from their respective homes because they claim their cars have been vandalized in the recent confrontations with the police. Ugandan traffic laws forbid driving cars in poor mechanical condition. The 15 will plead to counts related to managing unlawful society and disturbing peace. The criminal summons was signed by Mary Kayinza, a Buganda Road Court magistrate. The leaders have called upon well-wishers who would require to stand as sureties for them to come to court with the proper identification. But you also know that it is possible for you to go to court with three, four sureties and the court rejects them. So the, the safest way is for you to have as many sureties as possible so that if some are rejected, some will be accepted. And that discretion is within the court. You cannot determine on it. Alongside them, nine other people were last week remanded to Luzira Prison over the killing of Assistant Inspector of Police, John Michael Ariong. The summons were by state request. Craig Adoda, NTV.